Nail art with $300 gels in this video coming up. First light pink gel is worth $160 as well as the other one for the textured look. Also, I will use rhinestones, which are not as expensive, by the way, and crystal katana pickup tool. Now let's see what is inside those jars and I'm opening up the most expensive gel in my life. Wow, it's so smooth. Now maybe that explains everything. Now we have another one and it is not as smooth but still looks nice and smells very nice. I chose these colors because I saw nail art displayed in the nail shop that looks like this and I just wanted to try to do the similar ones on my nails. Now let's dive right in, Ooh, that's so satisfying, and apply it on the nail. Now I have to admit it's been a while when I worked with color gel in the pot unless it was a glitter gel, because if I need a color, like a solid color on my nails, I usually used gel polish or gel in the bottle. And the consistency is pretty thick, I think you noticed when I was picking up it from the jar, which is actually nice because it is not flooding the cuticles or the sidewalls at all. It is like super thick. But since I'm using the synthetic gel brush, I will definitely need another layer. After I freeze cure the first one, I am applying the color on another one and when I apply it, it feels like I'm applying some color gel. Nothing unusual. Wait, I actually have the brush called Cover Brush, which is specifically for color application. It is natural, soft brush. And oh, I wish I used it from the beginning because it's much softer, so it's easier to apply the color, but it's a bit hard to pick it up from the jar. After I fully cured the first layer for one minute in LED, and yes, those gels do cure pretty well. I'm not sure what is the actual cure time for them because I couldn't read the instructions, but after one minute they were definitely cured. So now I'm applying the second layer and I'm not sure if I need both layers on all nails because some of them will be covered with this other gel, but I decided just to be sure, apply it on all of the nails and after two coats I will cure it for one minute again. Now let's work with this another thicker gel. Honestly, I have no idea how to work with it. I was just inspired by this look and I've seen many similar designs from Asian nail technicians. I just like this textured look that they create with it. So I had to use the slip solution liquid, which is the liquid for a poly gel, to make it smooth somehow near the cuticle because I want a textured look but I want it to be nice and thin and smooth near the cuticle and the gel is sticky it sticks to the brush so with this liquid it made it quite easier to work with and maybe I should do an ombre but no we need to stick to the original idea so I'm cleaning the cuticle area it's actually pretty tricky to make it thin and smooth in the cuticle area and still make this perfect cuticle line Okay, so I guess I have to use something like orange wood stick and clean the extra color off so we will have this line. So basically this is the nail art, like we have one color and then another one on the top. Okay, now let's try it on another finger. I have no idea if I'm doing it the right way. I hope I do. So I'm using the gel brush and first I apply it near the cuticle and then I stretch it and then I am just cleaning up the extra. Now let's talk about this gel. So I posted a poll on my Instagram and once I announced the correct answer that two jars were actually worth $300, I received so many questions and comments like, so how's the gel? Was it really worth it? And you know, I really don't know how to respond to this question because I'm like, what kind of features are you looking in the gel that could be worth $300? I don't know, like, it's a good gel. I mean, the color is good, it applies nicely, but it doesn't jump off the jar and sell flavels by itself. You still need to work with it. 
Another insight I learned from this experience is usually when I do some new nails, especially if they're eye-catching, like some bright colors or some new shape or something unusual, people give me compliments, whether those are people in my office or just people I don't know. Well, this time I didn't really receive many comments or compliments. Actually, I got one. Uh, from my colleague and actually she just compliments every single manicure that I do because she's my friend so when she did that I could finally be like well yeah thank you do you want to know how much it's worth and everybody was pretty shocked when they realized what's the price and if you're questioning why did I buy this gel well First of all, I didn't count the currency very well, so when I was converting from Korean money, I really thought that this is 30 US dollars, not 300. So once I realized when my credit card was charged, I was like, whoa, that's expensive, but since I bought it, that's gonna be, you know, a nice experience. I am really wondering what it will be like. So I sealed the parts that are covered with this light pink gel and this texture gel even though I'm cleaning it up now looks like it doesn't have any sticky layer which is nice. I guess it was designed to create this kind of nail art. Now let's stick to the original plan and I will decorate it with crystals. And to tell you the truth, without the crystals this manicure doesn't look expensive at all. Actually, when you're adding glitter or rhinestones, I think it automatically makes any manicure look a little bit more expensive. My last question and concern is, okay, so if those gels, 5 gram, are worth $160 each, I'm just wondering, like, whoa, how much do South Korean nail technicians make if they buy this kind of products. So I'm done here, I added rhinestones and this is the final look and now I have a question for you. What was the most expensive product you ever tried and was it really worth it? Thank you so much for watching this video and if you're here for the first time do not forget to subscribe as I will be posting more nail art tutorials every week. I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!